I made a scarf. Well, I made four scarves. I wanted to share it with you all because I think it would be a really easy, straightforward, and satisfying gift anytime. Maybe this holiday season, maybe anytime the rest of the year. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a close-up. So this is linen. It is an open weave, and you can see I've got a little bit of a fringe, and this is some of the texture. So, some details. I was given this scarf as a gift by my mother-in-law, who's an amazing quilter and amazing seamstress. This was at least three years ago, and in that last three years, I've worn it all year long. Any travel, any trips, whether it's a summer beachy vacation or whether it's a cold, fall travel destination, I've brought this shawl with me. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to sew up these scarves. Happy sewing, and I'll meet you at the end and I'll show you the other color that I made. Okay, so we have the oatmeal color here, and the first thing that we're gonna do is find the middle of our width. So in case I didn't already mention it, this is two yards, and we're gonna fold it selvage to selvage in order to find that middle. And just a reminder that this is not washed yet. So I did not pre-wash my fabric. So we're folding it in half to find that middle because we're going to make two shawls out of this, two scarves. Here is the middle. I'm gonna pull a thread out so that we have a guide. And we are gonna choose this one. So using that thread as a guide, I'm gonna pull it through and that's gonna be the marking point of where we cut our yardage down the middle. And then depending on where you are in pulling this little guy out, all right, see if you guys can see that line, but this is where I'm going to cut. So since I have a nice easy line to follow, I am going to use my scissors and just follow along here. Okay, so once you've cut it down the middle, you are also going to want to cut off the selvage. Because I like to do batch sewing when I'm short on time and I know that I'm making this identical pattern and identical sewing instructions for both colors, I'm also going to cut out the black fabric in exactly the same way. Okay, so these are the short ends that I have queued up on the sewing machine and we're going to sew about two inches from the edge, and this is gonna serve as our securing stitch for the fringe to keep it from unraveling further into the shawl. So I am at the ironing board and we need to hem the long edges. So we're gonna turn it by one fourth and then turn it again by another one fourth. And this fabric, since it's unwashed and since it's so stiff, it's actually really easy to press or even just press with your fingertips. So we are going to secure the hems by stitching as close as possible to that folded edge. And we're also gonna start two inches up on all four of our scarves. V 
the ends should look like this where they will open up so i am going to finish hemming the long edges of the other three scarves that i have the other black one and then the two oatmeal colored ones after i hem the other guys we are going to unravel these raw edges and we're going to make our fringe there's also the option to make a tassel with little ties but i will see how fiddly it is to tie those off I think we're just going to do a fringe for the sake of time and because looking at this it it looks totally fine as a fringe i like i like it i like how casual it is so three more shawls to get sewing Okay, so we have hemmed our sides. And I did this for the all four shawls. So my two black ones and my two oatmeal colored ones. Now what you will have at this point is an unfinished short edge. So now we are going to unravel these short raw edges and it's gonna unravel to the point of our securing stitch. This open weave linen is really easy to unravel and the good news is that it also hasn't been unraveling too much as I've been working with it. But I am just going to show you again a few more close-ups of unraveling it up to the point of the securing stitch. So here it is spread out. I'm just gonna use my nail, loosen up that one thread and pull that guy out. If you are kind of scraping one of these horizontal threads down and out, you just don't want to put too much pressure on the vertical threads because you might end up pulling what is essentially a run down the shawl. If you do, it's not a big deal. I think anything that happens here during the sewing of this, it's an open weave. It's really big when it's unwashed, but once you wash it, it all just tightens up, snugs up. curious this is how the black shawl turned out and this is just a quick look at how well it works as kind of a wrap or shawl rather than around as a scarf although you can certainly easily scarf that right up and turn that into something warm and cozy and bundled up as much as you like Initial thoughts after having made these the second time around, I think depending on the color of the linen that you choose, some might be softer or smoother than others. I don't know if they've stopped adding the softener detail, but this one is a little, um, a little less smooth than the original one that I had. This one is just a little bit rougher. I don't mind, I really don't mind at all. Linen, again, works really well against my skin, so I like it a lot. So just keep that in mind, not all linen batches are equal. So you might find that your, some are a little bit smoother, some a little bit rougher, some might be a little bit more rustic, some might be a little more even. Thank you very much, you guys. I hope that was a helpful video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.